Alright, I'm making this video because I left a couple important notes out of the original video about the capacitors. Um, this video is only about the important tips when replacing your capacitors. If you already have your capacitors and you want to know how to replace them, then please go to my other video showing you how to replace the capacitors on your TVs by, by clicking over here. Um, if you've already watched that video and you're not watching this one, then I'll just get straight to the point. Um, here are the first few tips. Firstly, before you remove your capacitors from the main board, make sure you note what side of the capacitor is the negative side. Now, like batteries, capacitors have a positive and a negative side. You're going to have to put the new ones exactly the same way you remove them. So please remember this. If you can't tell which side is the negative side, it usually has a different colored stripe going down the side of the capacitor. Um, or it might even have a negative sign on it. Um, tip number two. Remember, when you remove your capacitors, rem remove them one by one because you might mess up. And when you remove them, you're going to have to write down the information that's written on the side of the of the capacitors, or you can just take it with you to the electronics store. Um, the informations that you need are basically two of them. Um, it's going to be the microfarads and the volt. They both will be on the side. If you look on the side of the, of the capacitor, it's going to have two numbers. Uh, they're gonna have one. One of the numbers is one of the numbers is gonna have a UF right after it. The number be the number that's before the UF is the microfarad. Um, the number with the V after it is the volt. Now, when when you replace your capacitors, it's important to note that note the the microfarad. In this case. My capacitor has 1,000 US, 1,000 microfarads. Make sure that when you re when you purchase your capacitors, the microfarad is the exact same as the original one. Now, when it comes down to the volts, you could either get the same amount of volts as your original one, or you can go higher. I would suggest go higher because your TV is just going to be able to hack more, more power, or it'll be able to store more energy or whatever. I'm not an electrician, but uh, anyways, yeah, remember to remember the microfarads have to be the same exact, and uh, volts have to be a lot higher. Now, tip number three, please remember be work safety. Please work safely because you are using a soldering iron, and it can lead to serious burns and injuries. That thing it gets really hot, and it gets really hot really fast. Um. So, if you want to wear safety goggles, that can help if you feel like you should. Anyways, let's just recap. Um, remember the negative side of the capacitors because you are going to have to put it back the same exact way as you put it as you took it off. If not, your TV is going to explode hugely. Just kidding. It's not going to explode, but believe me, it's not going to make the problem any easier or better. Um, and remember the microfarads, the UFs, and the volts. Remember the UFs have to be exactly the same. The volts have to be either the same or higher. The higher the better. So, anyways, um, this is it. I hope I fix your TV. It worked for me, and I saved myself way over $500. So, I hope it works for you, and I hope you save $500. If it does work for you, please subscribe to my channel um, and just help me out. So, thanks a lot.